Oh my gosh, can we end the game in the first push? Oh, look at this! Look at this! What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and today I want to give you some hidden seize tactics to help you win without relying on your robot. That robot, of course, is a huge way to win. I also want to give you some hidden stats, and we're going to play some games trying to actually win without the robot doing much damage at all. Maybe no damage at all, but we're going to have to see. So first of all, of course, there are some hidden tactics in Siege where you can get damage on the enemy Ike, it's called. I like just calling it the safe um, without your robot. Of course, there's two that are sort of glitches, which you probably know about really well. The first one involves the penny cannon, which outranges the safe by itself. So you can just place that anywhere along the edge. And if there's no one, if the closest, the closest thing to the cannon, the penny turret, is the Ike Factory, then it will target the Ike Factory and it will just do unlimited damage and you can win the game that way by itself. First of all, that's the biggest one. I feel like you guys know about that just by playing it a little bit. Another one is a hidden one with Brock, which you can actually be inside of range of the Ike Factory and deal damage to it in a specific spot, which you probably see in the gameplay right now. Um, this one is definitely a bug. The Penny one is not really a bug. Maybe they'll fix it though so that can't happen because it's kind of overpowered. I didn't realize this when I made my Siege tier list and Penny is definitely S tier now just because of that. But there are some other ways besides those main two. Those ones are pretty well known, but there are some other ones that I want you to know about as well. And there's even some brawlers that can end the game in like four, three or four supers by themselves, which is absolutely insane. So I want you to know all this and which brawlers can deal as much damage as possible to the enemy safe by themselves. So first of all, brawlers like Gene and Spike can deal damage without taking damage, which of course is important, but they don't deal that much damage. So it's not a very important one to know. I wouldn't really be going for safe damage with Gene and Spike just with their main attack. It's not gonna be that much damage. Now brawlers like Colt and Rico can deal damage to the enemy safe with their super without taking damage, which is important to know. It's not gonna be that much. It's gonna be like 10 to 12%. So it's a somewhat amount, like if you're really close to ending the game, Maybe you go for one of those, but otherwise I'm probably not doing it as you're going to be losing control by going out of your way and doing that sort of thing. But there's one brawler who does an amazing amount of damage to the enemy safe by himself, as long as no enemy is attacking him, of course. But if you can be sneaky and go and do this, Bull can actually do over 30% damage to the enemy safe by himself. If you have a max bull, you super in at the edge, you can do over 30% damage if you have a star power. You need a star power to get that extra last hit, but he can deal a ton of damage, so he can almost end the game in three pushes by himself, which is absolutely insane. El Primo can also do a lot of damage. He can do over 20%, not quite as much as bull, but he can still do a good amount of damage. 20% of damage with an El Primo Super is a lot. So you can end the game with five El Primo Supers by himself, which is insane, uh, of course. Now, Daryl can also do a good amount, about 18% with his Super. Leon, of course, can go invisible and get close to the safe. Now, one thing to remember with Leon is as soon as you get within four tiles of the enemy Ike turret, they will see you, just like any other person can see an invisible Leon. So you gotta start shooting, not like before you get right next to it. You gotta shoot as soon as you Get within range and he can do about 15 to 18 percent damage to the enemy safe these ones are not quite as important to know i don't think it's quite as worthwhile but brawlers like Bo can do like 14 percent damage by himself pam with a turret can do like 15 percent jesse with a turret can do about 12 to 15 percent damage piper without any sort of super or anything just with her long range can get usually two shots on the safe and that's 12 percent damage if you can get a third of course it's going to be uh, about 18 percent crow with super can do around 14 percent damage to the safe so those are all the ones I'm really going to mention. Of course, Colt, Rico, and Brock um, with their long range can get some damage as well, as I was talking about. But those are the only ones that can get damage on the safe by themselves that's really worth mentioning. Now, there's two other things I want you to know before we get into some gameplay that I think is really important to know. First of all, it's how much damage the Ike Factory does. The Ike Factory gets two hits per second. So it does 2,000 damage per second, which is an insane amount of damage per second. 2,000 damage a second, that's so much. It completely melts people's, that melts your robot. So this is where Frank can be so, so strong. You get a stun on that, all of a sudden you're limiting 4,000 damage just right there. And of course, if you can stun anyone else, that's also really important. But what's also important to know is how much damage the robot does. So at level one, the robot does 350 damage per hit. 
Now it gets about two and a half hits in per second. So you can see at level one, it has a damage per second of about 875. So it's not that high, but as you increase levels, it does an extra 50 damage per hit per level you go up. So as you get to higher levels, even if you get to around like level 12 or level 15, it's starting to get around three times the damage you're doing at level one. So this is where building up that robot can be really good. So for example, if you have a level 20 robot, that robot is now doing 3,250 damage per second on average, which is really good. And this is also where all of a sudden that robot can become really, really dangerous as you get really high level bots. And this again is where Frank's stun can be so important to just limit how much damage these super high damage things are doing in throughout the game. Okay, now let's get into some games and we're gonna try and win without the enemy robot doing that much damage. All right, now let's get into some games and we're gonna try and win with the majority of our damage coming from the brawlers and just their supers without the robot and let's see what happens. All right, here we go. So we talked it over and, come on, loading game now. We talked it over and we're gonna try and have both of us go in at the same time. So our goal here, and hopefully we can get a lot more damage with both of us together, tanking for each other, that sort of thing. Um, so our goal, okay, I don't really care, I'm just gonna try and heal up here, but it's not working, dang it, man, alright, but at least we got control, these guys just gave us this left side over here, okay, here's gonna be some damage, but I'm gonna have to back off, okay, Ooh, okay, okay, <laughs> I didn't get another hit, here comes Toma going in, oh, Bob is going as well, Interesting. So there's, we're down to 66%. So that was actually a solid push. Um, of course, we're going to lose control here. I don't really want to go into a Shelly. I don't know about that Jesse turret. It's fine with me. Um, all right, so we're pushing the back, but aren't they about to have a bot? Oh, was it a tie? Oh, it was a tie. Wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to get this bot here. I know there's those bow mines. Um, let's tank for a Rico. Take his bot. Or bolt, not bot. So our plan was to go in when... So we're trying to hide in the bush here. Maybe we can go in together. I guess we're just going to go for it. Here we go. Now we don't want to group up as well because it does splash damage. Look at all this damage though. One more push. Oh, look at this. Down to 4%. Oh, baby. We're going to win the game in one more super... Oh yeah, here we go. So it's the key here seems to be doing a double push. If we're going in by ourselves, we're not getting nearly enough damage. Please don't wreck me, Shelly. Okay, I got my super. That's game. That's game. Oh, Bobby's gonna end it first. It doesn't matter. They didn't even get a bot. Let's go. All right, here we go. I wonder if we found the new overpowered strategy, but the key here is definitely to push together as a team. We almost ended the game in two pushes. In two pushes, which is absolutely insane oh, I got out damage there with a little help from their barley all right so we're gonna push in nice work okay let's get this bolt here mm. all right we're going for damage right now okay if Jesse wants to not heal that's cool with me Okay, we got our super. Our bull has super as well. So we could go in here. I think we're going in. Although they are going to defend here. We got the Rico as well. Look at all this damage. Oh my gosh, can we end the game in the first push? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh no, 3% left. We almost ended the game in one push. On top of that, we have the bot. We have the bot. This game's over. This game's over. Overpowered strategy right here. GG, well played. It's done. You can't do anything about it. That's it. Good game. Good night. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Insane. Okay, here we go. Instant match uh, probably means we got a good team. So let's see how this goes. And we're going to try and do better. Talk to my teammates. Guys, you can't go in if the whole enemy team is back. Okay? That's the biggest thing here. It's, you gotta be sneaky about it. You gotta be sneaky. It's an unexpected strategy at this point in the game. Okay, okay. I don't really wanna be on the barley. But if I can get bolts too, that's mostly fine. 
All right, now, since we're in the Barley range, or we got Barley in our range, I'm one hit from Super here. Oh. Oh, man. Rico's Supering everywhere. Oh, not quite in range. And Barley and Rico double teaming me. That's no fun at all. Come on, guys. Dang it. But we got a tie, actually. Although, really, they had three, it looks like. I think our Rico got a little bit of damage on the enemy safe there. Because we got 2% damage. Okay, I'm really close to super. Mm. Dang it, everyone's staying out of my range! This is the thing with El Primo. Freaking heck, man! Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we're about to lose bolt wise. So this is unfortunate. We're really not getting our supers here. I don't know if it's just the team comp or what here. Oh my gosh, see? I'm just getting railed. I don't know about that super by the barley, but. Hmm. Man, that barley is just getting them spawning right on him. This is so annoying! Freaking heck, man! Stop it, Barley! Ah! Uh, Alright, I got my super. Toma has his, but I'm way too low health. Way too low health. But they don't know where I am. Now, we could all go in here. I don't know if that's really going to work. And Barley is being really annoying about it. Toma's going in, so I'm going to have to go in too. But it wasn't entirely together here. So, I don't really know about that. I kind of felt like I was forced to go in because Toma went, but we're just going to lose. That didn't work. Didn't work. Couldn't get our supers, really. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do it this time. Um, so the one thing with this team is it's obviously super reliant super on building up your super here. So we got to make sure we're doing smart plays to build that up. Okay. So there we go. Push the Nita. Oh, it looks like this dynamite got stuck for a second there. We're going to get the penny. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this penny turret as well. Oh, this dynamite is being annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tom, I killed the freaking turret. Okay, so he's trying to charge up his super. I'm going to die. Tom is going to be really low health. We just lost a lot of control. I'm not sure what our Reaper is doing. Doing something. We got the robot. So I guess smart play here would be to go in with our robot. All right. So maybe we'll just do that. All right, nice Rico super. Okay. Okay, they're gonna miss there. Going in! Oh, we're gonna get wrecked by Penny. <laughs> I don't know if that was smart or not. But, uh, forget it, man. That's the whole point of this video, so. Okay, well, let's charge up our supers again. Use these walls. Oh, Dynamite seems like he has bad connection. He keeps, like, pausing, which is never ideal. Of course. Why is Toma not picking up bolts, though? What the? What's the point of that, Toma? Uh, I'd rather them not get a strong robot, if possible. Although, we are just trying to end it in where. So Toma has a super, so we gotta heal up a little bit here. The thing is, is they're all back. No, Toma! Toma! That's not when you go in! Oh, man. Not how you do it, guys. Not how you do it. You don't go in if the enemy is back. And they were back. Now, admittedly, it's okay. Because it makes us spawn back here. And we can defend. But that's really not how it should have been done. So let's take out this penny turret. Okay. We do need some bolts. Oh, he's going to give me my super, so that's cool. I did drop the bolt, though. Now we need Toma to get a super. And we can't end, like, 20%. We're going to end the game here with a push. As long as I can go in and Rico can go in. Toma actually has a super. So I'm going to try and be a little bit sneaky here. Let Toma heal up. And then we're going to go in. And this is going to be the game right here, right now. And that's it. GG. Well played.
That's all she wrote. And I'm telling you, this is a not bad strategy. Want to see the best brawlers for Siege and the best general tips? Check out that guide right over there. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.